This is Graham from .easy coming to you with another video. Today we're going to be covering more of WordPress. We've made several videos before of how to create sites, how to secure them. I'm going to be coming to you with another security one. Now one of the things we're going to be focusing on this one I actually covered in our other video and our other plugins, but we're trying to simplify it for you guys to help make sure your sites are secure without as much of the hassle. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be covering how to redirect your actual login page to a different address altogether. Because anyone that's trying to hack into your actual site is going to know what the default addresses are and they're going to always try those first. This helps protect against brute force and to make sure that you're the only one who can log into your actual WordPress. So the first thing we need to do is with any WordPress site or any kind of WordPress change we're doing, we need to go into the WordPress dashboard. So we're actually already in this, so make sure you've logged into yours already if you haven't already. And from here, we need to go into the plugins, as the actual thing we're going to be installing here is a plugin, as mentioned before. So under plugins, we want to go to add new, and then it's going to ask you to search for it. We're just going to type in lockdown. And here we can see it's actually the second one we'll look for, lockdown WP admin. So we want to go to install now. It's going to ask you to OK, and we just want to click OK to that message. And with any plugin, make sure that once you've installed it, you do remember to activate it, otherwise it's not going to actually do anything on your site. And with any activated plugin, you'll notice it adds an actual option on the left-hand menu for it. Now that we've got that here, we want to go into the actual Lockdown WP tool and get it. So as you can see right here, it says Hide WP Admin. It's asking you if you want to hide this location. Now, normally whenever you log into WordPress, as you're familiar with, you can either type in your domain name and go to wp admin and another dash and go that way. You can also go directly to the login page, which is wp-login.php. This will also help you get to the login page. Now, by clicking this little check mark here to hide it, it means that those will no longer work. Instead, someone's going to go to a 404 error page saying they can't find the page they're looking for. So you want to make sure that, yes, this is check mark. Second thing it's going to ask you for is what you want to use instead. So in this case here, you need to make sure to put in something. We're actually just going to put in .easy for simplicity's sake, but you're free to put in anything you want. Anything you put in here will go after the domain name and be used as the actual login site. And then we're just going to leave this on disable HTTP authorization and click save options. Now you can see here it's already updated this line and shows us that this is now the login page. So if we actually happen to go here, select on this, and now that brings us to the login page. If we try and go to the older login page, it'll try and come up here. Now, one thing you need to make sure before you actually go to it is to log out. So we're gonna log out of our previous one that we already had. And you can see it actually brought you to the 404 page because the other page doesn't exist anymore. And when we try and type it in, and then we can see it now brings us to the 404 as it's supposed to. So do make sure you're logged out. We need to log out first. So once you've logged out, it's always going to come up here instead. So if we want to go to the actual login page, we need to make sure to type in what we had before. And then it brings us to the login page properly. So this way you can help protect your login page from anyone else trying to access it by hiding the name of what you need to do. It makes it so anyone trying to hack in, especially with a bot for instance, they're not going to be able to brute force their way in anymore is very, very important, helps with site resources as well. It's just an easy, quick way to help protect the site. So we do have more extensive plugins, which we showed you before. So you can always check on our YouTube channel for videos of this, as well as other WordPress videos. You can always make sure to leave us a comment if you have any questions about this or any other things you'd like us to point out for you. We'd be more than happy to help you out. You can always contact our support as well. We'll be more than happy to help you with that also. And just as always, make sure to like us on Facebook and also follow us on Twitter. We'll be making sure to bring you more information as it comes available as well about other videos we're going to be doing about WordPress. Thank you.